okay. So this is the February AMA Ask Me Anything. Um, thanks to everyone that sent in questions. I'm going to take a few of them and answer them. Uh, it is lunchtime somewhere. That's kind of what I told people I was going to do. So uh, hopefully not too late or too early for folks on the West Coast. Uh, yeah, so let's just hop into it. I have my guitar because one of the questions I am going to answer was... Um, it asks about my favorite chord progression, or one that I just love, and they asked me to demonstrate. So I'm gonna do that in just a minute. Um, I think I'm gonna start with uh, a question that's like, I couldn't tell if it was maybe a little tongue in cheek or sarcastic. Uh, the question was just, why is music important? Um, and that's like, that's a really big question. Um, it's kind of important to me. Uh, personally for a lot of different reasons, but I'm sure it's important to everyone for uh, a lot of different reasons. I would say sort of generally it's really important because it doesn't require any kind of formal education to really appreciate, and it doesn't require a specific language or language skills to appreciate. We have instrumental music that doesn't have language, and even in music that has vocals or lyrics, um, it's really more the emotional content that conveys meaning to me than specific lyrics. I mean, it's always nice to have the lyrics and it's always nice that the lyrics be meaningful and that you can sort of engage with them on an intellectual level. But to me, that's not necessarily the most important thing. I think the most important thing is having uh, just something that gives you that kind of emotional response. And I think music more than anything is the most universal art form we have. Um, there's no culture in the world that doesn't have music in some form or fashion. Um, to me personally, it's important just because um, making music is a way for me to process a lot of difficult things that I'm dealing with, or social issues that I see out in the world, or philosophical issues that I'm trying to grapple with. And I think that sharing that music is hopefully helpful uh, for other people to do the same. And that's why it's important to me. This is Wally. I don't know if you can see Wally down here. Hang out. Hang out. Hi. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't know. Um, I was I was hoping that that was a question in good faith. I will I will trust that it was. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of my feelings on it. Um, so another interesting question here was um, this is coming from someone who claims to not be musically inclined. Um, they ask. How do you handle creative differences between people you work with, given that I imagine creativity comes from a pretty personal place? Um, yeah, that one's... Sorry, I'm just going to fix this real quick. And Wally really wants to say hello. Um, that one's really hard for me, personally, because um, I, I've done solo work for so long that um, collaborating with others makes it really... Uh, it was really difficult for me at first because um, being the only person that you have to answer to or be accountable to or sort of uh, be happy with uh, being yourself was, I think, uh, something that I just got used to. Um, for people that start off um, working with other musicians, it maybe is a little bit easier to collaborate. Um, music is definitely very personal for me, um, but more than that, having sort of creative control was something that was really hard for me to let go of. Um, and I'm learning as I work with different producers and I work with different instrumentalists that I need to trust people to do their job sort of the way that um, they trust me to do my job in terms of, you know, songwriting um, or production or arrangement or whatever that is that I'm doing for them. Um, so when I'm working with other professionals and saying, okay, I want to write this together, then going into it, first of all, with people that I trust, and second of all, with the expectation of trust sort of on both sides, makes it a lot easier for me to let go of that control. Some of that's also just age, you know. Um, the things that were really big and important to me at first are, um, they're, they're kind of smaller now, um, the older I get. So um, I think that helps as well. Um, let's see, uh, I'm just going to do a couple more. I like to keep these kind of short just because, um, it's, it's kind of my lunch break and I have to go back to work. Uh, <laughs> um, 
so one question that's um, a little bit more serious uh, says, just wondering why so many of your songs address depression. Are you still struggling daily or trying to help others who may be dealing with the same challenges? Um, so on a personal level, um, I wouldn't say that I struggle daily. Uh, it is something that I struggle with. And for anyone that does struggle with any kind of mental illness, like there are better days and there are not so good days. Um, so it's kind of hard to say that you struggle with it every day, but it's always something that's kind of there, um, whether or not it's in the foreground or more in the background. Um, it's, it's always a part of your life and it's a part of who you are. Um, it's part of who I am. So, you know, with that in mind, I'm, I'm learning more and more every day how to accept it as part of who I am and not something foreign that's, you know, invading myself or, you know, um, something that needs to be eradicated or fixed or changed. Um, it's just something that is part of who I am. And if I'm going to accept and love myself for all of me, you know, um, that kind of comes along with the package. So I write a lot about it just because, um, that process is, um, is challenging, you know, to learn how to accept the parts of you that you don't like, or the parts of you that you feel like make your life really hard. Um, and especially, you know, when you feel like there's not really any good reason for it, it's just one of those things that happens, you know? Um, so I would argue that probably, making music about mental illness specifically is something that, um, that helps me process a lot of those thoughts and feelings, but just as important, I think helps other people know that it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be something that isolates you. Um, it doesn't have to be something that is wrong with you. It's, it's a part of who you are and it's a part of who I am. So, you know, hopefully by sharing that, um, anyone who is struggling with those things on a given day uh, or a given week or a given month um, has the opportunity to know, first and foremost, that they're not alone in that, you know, that there are other people um, like myself who are also uh, dealing with it. I don't know. That's kind of a big answer. Hopefully that helps. Um, <laughs> uh, then, yeah, I'll just do one more. Um, favorite chord progression. Um, so... Uh, yeah, someone says, what's your favorite chord progression or, or one you just love and please demonstrate? So um, my initial thought was, you know, what's my favorite chord progression that I've, uh, of a song that I've ever learned that someone else wrote? And then my, my other thought was, you know, what's my favorite chord progression that I've ever written? Um, and I think I'm just going to answer it for, excuse me, someone else's music. Um, so... I actually had to look this up because the chords are um, a little bit strange, uh, it, more jazzy than I'm used to writing. So um, I definitely enjoy this chord progression. It's from a song called, I guess it's going to rain today. Um, these are the verse chords. Um, and the song is by Sondra Lerka, who is a Norwegian musician. Um, and he is just definitely one of my favorites ever. Um, definitely someone that has influenced my songwriting style a lot and someone that I, um, yeah, definitely look up to in a lot of ways. So, um, yeah, this is the verse chord progression from that song. So that's the progression, yeah. And uh, with the words, if I can remember those, you better know by now, she said I made no effort to defend myself against a claim There wasn't anything to add and So I blurted out I guess it's gonna rain today Whoa. And it goes on from there into the chorus um, So yeah uh, definitely one of my favorite songs. I'll probably cover it at some point and make a video of it. Um, but yeah, uh, well, thanks as always for all of your questions. Uh, if I didn't get to yours this month, I will hopefully get to it next month. I'm trying to keep these sort of in order that they come in to sort of give them a little bit of priority. Um, of course, any of my Patreon supporters get first priority as far as getting their questions answered as well. So, um, if you're not on that, feel free to go join it at patreon.com slash courthuang. Uh, and otherwise, I will see you next month, and there should be new video coming out 
I want to say next week, maybe towards the end of next week. Um, and it's going to be really cool. I'm excited. So uh, thanks very much for watching. Love you all, and bye-bye. Okay, I'm going to, okay. Hang on, wait. Uh